picked up this little battery-operated liquid transfer pump at Harbor Freight about six months ago, and um, I decided to finally get around to doing a review of it. I wanted to use it for a while and just make sure, you know, it worked good and stuff before I did anything. So basically it was about $10, I think, and I got it with a coupon for uh, about $7.50. They had some of those 25% off coupons. So it really didn't cost that much, so I didn't really expect a lot out of it. Um, it looks kind of like one of those old kerosene hand pumps that you used to get for the siphon pumps for the five-gallon cans. But um, it's actually got a battery-operated motor on the top of it, and it's, it's rated to be used for gasoline and other types of fuels and water and everything else. So, you know, basically, uh, it'll work for anything, it looks like. And a little sticker on it, and it basically says, uh, if once you remove the sticker and use it, you can't return it to the store. I guess they don't want gas fumes in the store. So I... Threw a couple of Duracells in it, and um, you know, just take two D-sized batteries there, and I've been using them for six months now. Probably pumped 25 gallons of gasoline with it, and they're still working, so they do last quite a long time. So today I was out working on my log splitter, getting it ready, and I picked up some five gallons of high test gas. And first thing I do when I get a new can of gas is I throw in some of that stable marine formula for ethanol and just throw the required dosage in there and then just shake it up a little bit and that always helps the gas stay fresh a little bit longer and I'm just going to show you how the pump works um, basically it's just uh, stick the uh, pump in down in the can I wish I had like a, a rubber seal so you could leave it in the can but it doesn't so just stick it in the can and then hit the button there you can see how it pumps it does it does pump at a really good rate um, I know I've used it to transfer like five gallon cans I pick up at Costco into my wife's car and stuff like that and it only takes a couple minutes and the good thing is when you turn the pump switch off there you'll see that actually the uh, everything drains right back down into the container anything left in it you can see it just drain right back down there and drip in the container so um, basically when you pull it out of the container it's pretty much dry there's not any uh, gasoline left in it just a little bit of you know coating on the outside and there you can see you just pull it out and everything everything drains there's nothing retained in it so you know it did do a good job at that it would just be nice if you could leave it in the can all the time and seal it in there because it really is handy when you're filling up things like this. You saw there was absolutely no spillage and very good control of uh, the flow. And then I noticed under my log splitter there was some drips of oil and stuff. And it looks like uh, it was low on oil and it looks like the um, front seal on the engine may have started going last year. You can see where there's uh, oil all over the uh, the fins and the head there. It looks like the fan in it is kind of blowing. The, it's leaking out a little bit and hitting the fan and blowing back across the head. So that's something I'll have to look at. Hopefully I can get through this. Uh, I'm just getting ready to, to split up those 20 cords of wood out there. And uh, hopefully I can get through that without a problem. And there you can see that there's oil coming right back through there. And this is a, like a 1970s Cub Cadet engine, so, you know, I, I can expect that I could use a new seal by now. So I got that all oiled up and uh, gassed up and started up and everything's ready to go. So hopefully this weather will let up and stop raining so I can get out there and start doing a little bit of splitting next week. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying this little pump and it does really help fill up all the little tools and whatnot that take the... Uh, you know the gasoline and with very little spillage so I really do like it and here you can see the uh, daffodils and a couple of other bulbs have started coming up too so um, but basically every other day we get an inch of rain it seems like so everything is just so far behind in the yard I'm never gonna catch up on it thanks for watching please subscribe